All right, so today we're going to take a look at setting up guides for creating a tri-fold brochure in Adobe InDesign. So here we are looking at InDesign. It's just been opened, and the first thing that we need to do is open up that uh, new document dialog box. So we can either click this button or go to File, New, Document. And in our new document dialog box, we're going to change a couple of things. So we'll change our number of pages to two because a trifold brochure is, of course, a double sided document. Uh, we're also going to deselect facing pages. And then um, we're going to go down down here and we'll make sure that our orientation is set to landscape and then in the columns area uh, you'll see everything right now is measured in picas uh, that's what we have going on here uh, we can enter values in inches and that's what I'm gonna do in this gutter area I'm going to just type 0.5 inches like that, you want to make sure you're uh, denoting inches in some way, either with the quote or IN, but if you tab out of that box, it converts it over to picas. Uh, so you want to make sure your gutter is set to 0.5 inches, and your uh, number of columns is set to 3. And I'm also going to set up a a quarter inch margin going around the inside of my page. So to do that, since these are all locked, I'm just going to drag select uh, one of those default values and say 0.25 inches and then tab over uh, to the next box. And one other thing that I'm going to do just because I uh, I enjoy reiterating this uh, every time I get the chance to. Uh, you'll notice that down here, uh, well, you may have to hit more options to see this, uh, the bleed and slug area. Uh, so you may need to hit more options, but down here in the bleed area, we're going to create a quarter inch bleed going around the outside of the page. So I'll just go in there and type 0.25 inches and tab over and now uh, we're almost there uh, so just to review I have number of pages to facing pages turned off I've set my orientation to landscape uh, the gutter is set to half an inch uh, I have three columns uh, margins set to a quarter inch and bleed set to a quarter inch again you can type those values in in inches and then tab out of the box and it will uh, convert it to picas. So now everything's all good and I'll hit OK. And here we are in InDesign. So here's the outside of the brochure, the guides for the outside of the brochure, and here are the guides for the inside of the brochure. And here is our quarter inch margin here's our half inch gutters and here's our quarter inch bleed going around the outside of the page now I'm going to add a couple of more guides uh, to each of my uh, pages here uh, but before I do that I'm just gonna make sure if you don't have your uh, rulers visible for some reason uh, you can always go to view and make sure uh, rulers are turned on. My, uh, mine are on, of course, uh, but if they're ever not there, it's just view, uh, show rulers. Uh, then what I'm going to do is hold down the control key and click on the top ruler. So it's control click right on the top ruler, and I'm going to select inches. And I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, for the side ruler. So I'm just holding down the control key. While holding down the control key, I click on the ruler and then I'm going to choose inches. Okay, now I'm going to create a guide 
between, I'm going to add guides between these, in the middle of these two gutter areas. Uh, so to do that, I just hover over the side ruler and then just click and drag, click and drag out a guide. And uh, for this, uh, you want your first guide to be at 3.66 inches. And your second guide will be at 7.33 inches. Obviously, it goes out further than that, but uh, this is where we want to be. So, I've added those two guides to the middle of each of those gutter areas. And I'm going to do the same thing on this second page, uh, which is the area where the inside of the brochure will be. So I'll click and drag out another guide. Again, that's 3.66 and 7.33. Now, what's going on? What are we looking at here exactly? Well, here's the, like I said, the outside of the brochure area and the inside of the brochure area. And I'll add some text to each of these panels so you have an idea of which panel winds up where when you print this. Uh, but uh, before I do that, I will say that if you are uh, planning on printing your brochure in one of the labs, uh, you probably uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, there's a few reasons that you don't want to do this. Uh, first, the lab printers don't do double-sided printing. Uh, the paper is just standard paper, so it, it doesn't look so hot. And also, in the labs, uh, by default, the lab printers, they truncate, uh, I'd say it's about at least a half an inch off of uh, your printed documents. So if you print something all the way to the edge, or you add something that goes all the, all the way to the edge, uh, it'll cut it off or add this white line easily uh, you know, all the way around your uh, your document. Uh, so that's the non-printable area surrounding the whole page with the lab printers is probably, it's definitely more than what we've set as the margin here. Um, and I can't remember if it actually just shrinks up what you're trying to print or if it just cuts it off. Either way, it's not good. Uh, so what you want to do is, you know, in InDesign, you're ultimately you're creating your project file, but you're also creating a PDF uh, as your finished product. So you want to take that PDF to an actual uh, printer, uh, something like uh, Clark Graphics or the FedEx store, and you bring them that PDF. Uh, you explain, you know, I'm printing a brochure, and they'll do it for you in a, uh, you know, in a professional kind of way, uh, not not like what you'll get if you try to print a brochure from one of the lab printers. So, uh, also, you know, if you did have something that where the bleed was factored in, uh, you know, a professional printer can factor that into the print job. So, what is a bleed exactly? Well, let's say I wanted to add an image or a shape. Uh, you know, just one solid color uh, to just the outside of my brochure. Uh, I've selected my rectangle tool and I'm going to switch the fill to, hmm, let's see here, let's, uh, something like cyan. Uh, and I don't need a stroke around the ed ed edge of my uh, page here, so I'll turn the stroke off, set the fill to cyan. And now, if I were to just draw a normal rectangle using the, you know, the edge of the page, which is this right here, if I were just to uh, add a uh, cyan rectangle to my brochure like this, what happens is, you know, as the as this goes through, you know, a printing press, uh, and it goes through the rollers and everything else. Um, you know, it's probably going to shift and just like you have margins for the inside, you need to have something specified for the outside area uh, because otherwise you wind up with, you know, something that kind of looks like that. You know, you'll have here's the blue and here's this, what's this sliver of white going on, you know, around the edge of my brochure. Uh, so you don't want that and that's why you factor in 
a bleed. So you, you know, add your image or your shape like this, so it's going beyond the edge of the page. And then, you know, when things shift, uh, which is, you know, normal on incremental scales uh, in the printing process, uh, when things shift, uh, you don't have to worry about that sort of sliver of white showing up uh, on your uh, finished product, on your printed product. So, now I've added that uh, cyan uh, rectangle to my brochure here, and just to demonstrate, you know, what we're looking at exactly, I'm going to uh, add just a couple of text boxes. And so here I am, this is the top page, and just so we know what we're dealing with, this area here, this panel, will wind up being the front. Uh, this is obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but this is the back, and this is the flap, right? And now, on the inside of our brochure, if we scroll down to the next one, what do we have here? Well, here's the front inside, and here's the middle inside, and here's, oh, well, basically the other side of the flap. Oops, there we go. So, here's my fancy trifold brochure. Uh, so, here's how you do, you know, this is how we would do our uh, initial layout with the guides, which a lot of this is setting up the guides. I wouldn't get too close with uh, text boxes or images or anything. I wouldn't get too close to the gutter areas here or, you know, and I wouldn't get too close to the uh, margin that's been specified. Uh, obviously, the gutter areas where the fold happens and you just generally don't want to get too close with text or any important information. You don't want to get too close to the edge of your page. Uh, so, here is the uh, trifold brochure, my finished trifold brochure. Quite awesome looking. And now I'm going to uh, save this as an InDesign project file. So I'll go to File, Save As. And of course, if you're working in a lab, you should save this to a thumb drive, never save it to the computer itself. I'll call this Trifold. Uh, this is my computer, so I'll just save it to the desktop. I'll hit save. Okay, so that's the project file. And now I need to actually create a PDF, something that I can uh, take to a printer. So I'll go to File, and I'll go down to Export. And I want to make sure I'm choosing Adobe PDF Print. I don't want to choose Adobe PDF Interactive. I want to choose Adobe PDF Print. And I'll send this to my desktop, and I'll hit Save. And in the Export dialog box, I'll leave all the default settings. It'll be a high-quality uh, print preset. Now, because I did use the bleed area, I'm going to go down to Marks and Bleeds, and I want to make sure Use Document Bleed Settings is selected. Remember, those are the ones that I created in the beginning. And so that will be factored into the finished product, the PDF. I'll go back here to General. Everything looks good. And then I'll export it. And now, if I take a look at my desktop, Here's my trifold brochure. I can open that up in Adobe Acrobat just to check it out as a finished product. And here it is. And when I take it to the printer, uh, I'll you know remind them that this is the outside and this is the inside of my trifold brochure. So, that is how to set up the layout for a tri trifold brochure and how to uh, factor a bleed into your project.